Hey there and welcome to another channel video where today I will bring again a brand new product from Fnixi or Fnixe and this time is the soldering iron the HS02A. This is the upgrade to the already popular HS01 and like the predecessor continues to be a USB power smart or intelligent as Fnixi calls it soldering iron. Some improvements are quite visible, like the bigger and color display and the use of the T245 tips instead of the previous 212. I will review all the improvements in this video, so bear with me until the end. As a disclaimer, this HS02A was sent to me free of charge and no payment was made by Fnixi to produce this video and they will see it at the same time as you when it is published on YouTube. Fnixi is for a long time cooperating with the channel, allowing to produce these videos and I think that uh, thank you for that is in order to, to them. As it is also to you, my viewer, that sponsor the channel just by using the affiliate access links in the screen or in the video description for your purchases on AliExpress or Amazon. You'll pay exactly the same, but you will be sponsoring the channel just by using these links before your purchases. So a big thank you for you and Fnixi. Enough thanks for one day, no more chit chat. Let me start by showing you the key features. Okay, as usual, let's see what is delivered in the box. I will start by taking the film out. Okay, here we have it. So the box itself is this uh, retail box, Intelligent Electric Soldering Iron. This is the new upgrade. Okay, as usual, we should have in the bottom some specs. Yeah, okay, uh, let's open it. Well, this seems very good in terms of packing. Look at this. We have this carry case and also an accessory box. The kit that I received also has uh, five extra tips. Uh, we are talking about the HS02AK. It's this swivel one. I will show you after. And we have also the I, the B, and yeah, the C2. Those are common models from GBS and also the GS. This is a conical one. Okay, so we have five extra tips for the soldering iron. Let's see what we have in the accessory box. Whoa. It's full of stuff. We have a 100 watts GAN power supply. Okay, and for European use, we can do like this. Very nice thoughts. Uh, three outputs from Fnixi. Nice detail. Okay, the cable is that silicon one. Very good, that was already delivered also with the um, HS01. This is a very nice cable. I use it a lot. And I think that I have a few more. Okay, I have two sets of... <laughs> okay, they sent two sets of, um, of tips. So let me see what else we have in here. Uh, okay, I have the key U that was not delivered outside and that's it basically okay well so i have another uh, tip in here the b type we have a adapter for dc barrel to usb type a this is very useful if you are using external batteries and let me take it out okay and we have this small stand for supporting the iron when we are not uh, using just to drop it. Oh, this is the instructions manual. 
Ah, okay. So we have the instructions manual also. We have the QR code to obtain the user manual and a demonstration video also with this QR code. And here it is, the HS02. What was delivered uh, to me in this kit was six uh, tips or cartridge, one holder, uh, the adapter as I showed you, the 100 watts GAN uh, power supply and also this amazing silicon USB cable. Also delivered were those five uh, tips. I believe this was by mistake because uh, what they told me it is that I will receive a helping hands, uh, no helping hands. So I have some backup tips, very nice also. And the soldering iron itself is this unit, as you can see, it's, it looks really premium. It has a very nice finishing in metal. Uh, nothing on bottom, this is just a cap that you will use it like this and on the top we have the USB for powering and also updating the firmware. Two buttons like previously and uh, since we are talking about the previously HS1 let me show you the previous unit, I still have it here. Uh, as you can see I always save everything that was delivered to me with the original units. Let me just take this out and we can see immediately that two things. The first one is that this unit is a little bit smaller in terms of size. Um, this one fits very well in your hand also. And one of the things that you can see it immediately is that we no longer are using the T12 tips. So right now for this HS02 we have the tips of the GBC type uh, T245 are a bit uh, thinner and a different connector. We have a conical entrance for easing up the connection and you just press it a little and that's it, it's secure and it's pretty secure. Okay, uh, that's it in terms of exterior. Now I will power this up to see how it works. Now it's the time to talk about this video sponsor, PCBWay. I always use PCBWay for creating my boards with a professional factory quality, as you saw in my millivolt voltage reference board. It is very cheap to manufacture your PCBs on PCBWay. You can manufacture 10 PCBs for only five bucks, how awesome is this? And it is pretty easy also. Just insert here the PCB dimensions and you'll have an instant code. So when you want a PCB, visit PCBWay to get your code. And if it is your first time ordering from PCBWay, you can use our access link for a $5 credit. And don't forget, they also have component assembly service, a 3D printing service and much more. And the first thing that I will do before starting to show the operation is to remove the film. This is always a happy part. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Very nice. So I have here the HS02A ready for operation. Nothing connected on the power sock. And I also don't have anything connected on the tip holder. Uh, right now I will connect the cable. Uh, I didn't connect first on purpose so I can show you this. This is the boot and when you don't have a tip uh, inserted it will show you this uh, warning with this uh, motion to, to indicate that you should connect the tip. This is pretty annoying. Let me enter by pressing like two seconds this button, the OK button. And when we enter this menu we have three options, the sleep settings, the handle settings and the system settings. I will start with the system settings because I want to lower a bit the brightness and I think that we should be able to do this uh, in this menu. So in here you have in the, the language selector that it is only English or Chinese. Okay, you can always 
change the the working mode to the right or to the left handed so also units you can switch between uh, celsius or fahrenheit and the volume on or off and the brightness yeah i want this one because i need to lower a bit the brightness to show you yeah as you can see we have in there also a uh, a level indicator in blue okay and this will help me showing you showing you all the options available so uh, we have also the option for firmware updates where you can connect this to a pc to update the firmware i will not do that now and also the about where you have the version and the model of this uh, soldering iron okay uh, in terms of uh, menu system menu i think that's about it ah no we still have a factory reset and that's it now we don't have any options to go back you just press for a bit like you did for entering this menu okay you have also the handle set where we can set the temperature for the different different presets uh, let's enter so we have they call it channel one two and three uh, right now i'm changing the temperature for the first preset if you press uh, okay you will change for another preset yeah and it's pretty easy just use the okay and you will change the values again when you are ready to go just press for a while and you are back to the previous menu also we can trigger different voltage uh, right now I have uh, the 20 volts for this uh, USB power supply, but uh, you can force down up to 9 volts. I will leave the, in this. And in same way you can also use the power. Right now it's 30%. We have the steps uh, in terms of uh, increasing or decreasing the temperature. Uh, I would like to have this in 10 degrees for me it's okay and we have also the temperature calibration for that you have three sets of temperatures uh, 100 degrees 250 and 350 if for each one you will set if the temperature is higher or lower than expected for this for this setting uh, i will not set this now because we are just seeing the menus let's go back it's the oops again okay this was the handle settings and finally that is the first option we see it in reverse we have the sleep settings so in sleep time you can have 30 minutes on standby time also uh, it's set to 30 minutes uh, you can put on or off in each of them and also you can change to a maximum of 60 minutes and the minimum i believe of zero he puts already on off by you uh, if you increase the the time uh, okay so we have to change it again yeah the minimum is one minute let me put this in 30 minutes again it will be okay okay uh, on off and to leave just press for a bit and we can also change the temperature the sleep temperature uh, it should be the same okay the minimum is 100 degrees and the maximum it should be 200 degrees okay i will leave it at the minimum the interface is pretty easy to use and it's not one of those interfaces that we have to do uh, everything really fast so you have time to do whatever you need going back again to the main menu and right now we are with this alarm i will disconnect the cable so i can connect now yeah i have here the b tip it's a conical one yeah and we are set okay now that we have a tip already in place inserted let's connect and as we can see we don't have the alarm anymore 
and I will press OK to start it. OK, it seems to be powering up. We have 90, 19 degrees of voltage. Uh, it is using the full power. OK, going to 300 degrees. That's the preset. As you can see, when it reached the temperature, the power uh, is no longer, the power bar is no longer filled. It had a little overshoot. It went away about the 300 degrees. Right now it's again using the power. Uh, I don't know why it had so that overshoot, but to change the preset, it's pretty easy. Well, something is going on here because it jumps, just jumped to 330 degrees. Uh, I'm going to change the preset now. Now it should be at 330 degrees. It stopped at 316. Uh, I think it's powering up. Let's see. Okay, uh, we are reaching there. Hmm. It gave a little overshoot again. Let's go to the next 360 degrees. Preset. The power bar is at the. Uh, it's filled. Yeah. I'm not very fan of this way of showing the numbers. I would prefer just change the numbers instead of this animation. And in terms of programming, this should I'm I'm all, I'm guessing that this was a little hard to do in such a little device with the uh, graphic resources limited. But uh, even it's it's neat the first time it can be a bit annoying. But yeah, it doesn't matter how they display the temperature uh, for me. It's all about if you can trust it or not. Okay, so for testing, I would like to present you the Sugan S196. This is a thermometer for testing soldering station and soldering iron. We have here the tip sensor. Also in this place, we have the hot air uh, sensor for putting here the hot air gun. And finally, we have a K-type external uh, connector. If you want to know where the money that you, I use from the affiliate links that you guys use to sponsor the channel, here it is. I use it to buy better test equipment to, to be able to do better reviews. And also in the following weeks, it will appear some more devices that I bought to improve the channel testing. I'm receiving a lot of soldering iron, soldering stations, so I decided that this will be a good device to have. So continuing with the test, uh, I have here the HS02 already in place. I have to confess that I struggle a bit with the precision uh, in terms of temperature. I had to calibrate it uh, several times until I decided that, look, I'm just going to do a factory reset and put everything to the basic. And yeah, it seems that now it's going OK. For the testing, I decided to use the three temperatures that the device used for calibration. That is 150 degrees, 250 degrees and 350 degrees. I programmed the presets with these temperatures so it makes easier the testing. OK, let's start without further ado. I will put the sensor in here. It should be around 150 degrees. Let's see. OK. I think this is spot on. Give it a second. And yeah, one degree, one, two degrees uh, off. Uh, let me, I took out. Yeah, 150 degrees. So <laughs> it's oscillating a bit. No worries. Uh, I call this a spot on. Let's move to 250 degrees. OK, we have to wait a bit. Uh, this, I don't know if it is. This soldering iron takes a bit to get there. OK, 250 degrees. Let us give time to the probe get the temperature okay let me put this right 
247, so we have almost the 250. Uh, finally, oops, I took it out. Finally, we have the 350 degrees. Just a moment to get there. Okay. Getting, and we are there. So, just a few seconds to update the probe, and we are more or less seven degrees out. Probably we will need to calibrate this. Well, 10 degrees right now. Let me see. I have to change my glasses because I cannot see if the probe is in the red correct place. Uh, I think it is right now. So we have 342 degrees, I think. Let me see. Yeah, 42, 43, it's uh, 7 degrees out also, so a little calibration will be needed also to, to check this. So it's pretty near the desired temperature, uh, we need to do some calibration, but nothing serious, so for me, uh, I think it's, all, it's basically there. Okay, let's move on. I have my setup in place, so the first thing I will do is try to unsolder this blob with the wire connected to it and solder in somewhere else to to see how it how it will handle it i will use the like 500 degrees uh, sorry 400 degrees and i connect it to my uh, fnb 58 from fnixi also to see uh, how it will handle this right now all i can see it's drawing 7, 16 to 7 watts, uh, so yeah, I don't think it's taking all the power it can from the, the power supply, and that was my suspicious at the beginning, but okay, let's see how it handles even so with these uh, large blobs. Okay, we are reaching the desired temperature, it takes a while, uh, I, I'm not sure, but I think that the HS01 is a, a bit faster to, to get to the temperature. Almost there. Okay, so let's start. Oh, it doesn't take much time to start melting. As you can see here on the screen and yeah, amazing. Whoa. Let me clear also this one. So, uh, look at this. It was a breeze. Yeah, it melted right away the, the solder. So we have this uh, removed, just to clean up. Okay. Very nice. Uh, in terms of melting the blobs, it's really fast. But since those are already in these blank boards, maybe we should try on a place where it doesn't have solder yet. But you can see it's melting. It's going through the solder as we passed. Yeah, it's totally liquid, liquid right now. Yeah, even this one, let's see. Just a, a few seconds and it will melt it. Okay, so I have the solder right here. Let's try to solder this again to the boards. I don't think it will have any problem to do that. Okay, soldering a blob. and it's already there okay you just need to put some more solder yeah You 
it's a breeze. I'm not even touching the tip of the soldering iron and it's melting. So yeah, no problems at all. Okay, really happy. Look at the speed, it starts melting. Yeah. It's true that I'm using the 400 degrees, so the solder should melt really quick, but this is totally liquid. Okay, I think it's a pass. Let's move on. Wrap up time and as always, I will start with the price. On AliExpress Fnixi official store, you will find the base version with the soldering iron, the holder, the adapter cable and one tip for 35 euros or around 38 dollars. And this is more 10 euros than the same HS01 base version. That doesn't come as a surprise since it now includes the more expensive T245 tips and the color screen and also now supports 100 watts. You can also buy the complete kit that I recommend in several versions, more or less complete, different tips with or without the power supply. But the one I received costs 84 euros or around 91 dollars, but includes a decent 100 watts GAN power supply and six tips. So it's a good deal. The design is good and so it is the handling. It is a bit larger than the HS01, but not to the point that will be uncomfortable. The size is totally within the comfort usage zone and the handling is really good. The change they made on this rubber zone also worked well. Now the fingers rest more in this rubber zone. If you use it for a large time, the rubber zone will heat up, but not to the point of being uncomfortable. The UI usage is pretty straightforward and simple to use, and the color, while not relevant for the soldering iron operation, is a nice addition. Let's now talk about the soldering. Small components like resistors solder to a board even the cheaper soldering iron can do. What I like to test is with large amounts of solder, large blobs, and see if it can handle them. If it can, it can handle anything easier than that. And it passed that test with flying colors. Considering that this is the main purpose of this device, I'm happy with the result. At first the temperature test was not quite accurate, it was oscillating a bit, but after quick calibration it was spot on, so also there it left a positive impression. Overall, considering temperature, accuracy, capability of melting solder and also the user experience, it was a nice experience and in my opinion this is a nice product for the price. If you also think so and you are considering to buy one. And also, if you feel like it, consider sponsoring the channel by using the affiliate access links in the screen or in the description to access AliExpress or Amazon for your purchases. Same price to you, a big help for the channel, so a sincere thank you. All money collected by your help is spent in equipment to improve the channel reviews, like the thermometers I use today on this review. And if this review was in any way useful to you, please slap that like button to help me spread the word. And if you are new here in the channel, please subscribe and be on top of the new electronic tools and devices that arrive to the market and every week I receive to review. That's it for today. Thank you for your time here with me and I hope to have you on my next video. Until then, take care.